Hello you beautiful people, it is Tooth here, Tooth Decay. So what are we doing today? Well, it's not so much about today, it's more about tomorrow, because tomorrow what I want to do is make me some blueberry pancakes, American style blueberry pancakes, and Brian Lagerstrom has got a brand new pancake recipe out, which I have been busting a gut to try. I needed this recipe in my life, people, I needed it. So, if you have a look in Tesco at the moment, Kerrygold butter, which is the only butter I buy, costs £2.30. Now this is 600ml of double cream. This also costs £2.30. And when I turn this into butter, like this, we will get more butter than we get for the Kerrygold. But the beauty of it is, is that we also get buttermilk. And I need buttermilk to make Brian Lagerstrom's pancakes. So today we're gonna do the butter and tomorrow we're going to do the pancakes. Let's get this show on the road. Right, so let's get the cream in the bowl. Like I said, this is 600 ml of double cream. Now when you do this, it will start to thicken up and it will start looking like scrambled eggs and then all of a sudden, it will just all clump up in the balloon whisk. So we are just going to let it run on a slow speed for a little while and then I'm going to ask my newly found cameraman to come in and do a close up of what's going on over here. Now you can see that liquid developing in there. That liquid is the buttermilk and that butter's nearly there. Let's just get these bits off the side, give it a scrape down. Make sure we're turning all of that cream into butter and buttermilk. Right, folks, we have now got butter and buttermilk. So I'm going to take that out, bosh that into my ice cold water because you can see how soft it is at the moment, and I need all that to clump up nicely together. I'm just going to grab the big lumps and I want to wash off all of that excess buttermilk and start pushing this together into a pat. If you don't wash off the buttermilk, your butter will go off a lot quicker. So you need to wash it all off in this ice water and use the ice water to help it stick together into a pat. Now this is unsalted butter. The next pat I'm going to make will be salted and literally, I mean, just play around with it to taste. Put the Put the salt into the cream and then taste and mix it up just for like you know a few seconds and then taste the cream and see if it's salty enough for you. If not, add a bit more. I normally start with a teaspoon, I think about a teaspoon and a half is okay. Right, that now is a lovely piece of butter. It's gonna go straight into there. Just gonna wrap that over. So all I'm going to do is take a sieve, take that buttermilk, run it through the sieve just to get any last bits out. And that folks, is the sweetest, tangiest buttermilk you will ever get. It's better than anything you can buy in the shop. It just tastes absolutely beautiful. Now you can see I've got a little bit in there. I am going to do the butter thing again and make a salted pat of butter. Like I said, just salt it to taste. There's no point me telling you how much to put in because you put in what you want. But we'll get another amount of buttermilk like that. And then tomorrow we will be making a pancakes. <coughs> right, so this is the second pat of butter. I've remembered from the first time and I've put my gloves on this time into the ice bath. Let's wash off all of that buttermilk just so that we, uh, just so that the butter doesn't go off faster than it needs to. And then we're gonna start clumping that together, squeeze any of that excess liquid out. Right now, I just wanna show you quickly. So you've got 254 grams there, including the wrapper. You've got 338 grams of butter for the same price as 250 grams of butter. But of course, ha ha ha, dad joke. <laughs> you've also got 
this absolutely stunning buttermilk, which is going to be going in to our blueberry pancakes tomorrow. And from the two packs of butter I made, one salted and one unsalted, there we have it folks. Look at that buttermilk. Oh my goodness, oh my gosh. That, my little peeperoonies, is pancake heaven in a jar.